Welcome back to my channel. Today is day 17 on the road, which is crazy. It feels like it's been so much longer, but 17 days, arguably a long vacation, even though we've been working the whole time. Anyways, we were going to leave early this morning, but we have internet here, and this is like the setup that I imagined we would have during our life on the road like check this out it's so cool we have the awning out and music playing we have our little workstation here we drank coffee there and worked on the computer all day and we had this freaking view and the Teton mountains are right there now this is one of our friends properties they it's a rental property that isn't being used right now so they let us park the trailer here um, but we've still just been sleeping and living in the trailer because I don't want to, you know, inconvenience someone else. But it has just been so perfect. Uh, but we are leaving today, and before we go, we're going to get a workout in. I want to show you the pre-workout that we both took because it's so good. It's by Onnit. It's called Total Strength and Performance. Let me show ya. So this is it. Uh, we have the strawberry lemonade flavor, which I believe is the only flavor they have. But it is so good, and it makes you feel like this. <laughs> and we do have a discount code. So the discount code will be listed below. You can save 10% on any supplement or food order from Onnit. I love Onnit as a company. They're badass. So that information will be below. Anyways, that's probably why I'm so jazzed up right now. Like not only because of this view, but because of that pre-workout. It just works so well. It is a little spicy though. There's a lot of pepper, not a lot of pepper. There's a little bit of pepper in it. Um, so especially like at the bottom after you're done drinking it, if you didn't mix it the whole time, you'll get a little like kick of spicy pepper, but I like it a lot. So I'm gonna get a workout in right now. I'm gonna show you what I do. And then we'll be off to the next adventure. <laughs> so today's workout consists of a one mile run, around a 10 minute mile, and then I got into my kettlebell work. So I'm doing 10 reps each leg, walking lunges. Each kettlebell is 12 kilograms, which is around 24 pounds each. And I followed that with a deadlift row combination. Five rounds of that, absolutely killer. <laughs> Nick's also getting a workout in. He's doing some bicep curls and a squat press with the kettlebells. Dirty windshield, per usual. Gorgeous sunset, per usual. Pretty mountains in the distance. We are in a beautiful section of Idaho, and I am going fishing. Uh, Nick's super sleepy. Actually, the window's open, so he can probably hear me. Hello. Hello. What is it? Would you like to say hello to the camera? So Nick's in there sleeping. He's taking a nap. We drove super late last night, which we didn't want to do, but it just kind of ended up that way. But regardless, I am feeling pretty good, so I'm, what? Ah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm going fishing. Nick's gonna stay home and sleep, but I don't blame him, because he had to drive the whole way, and really like takes it out of you. Anyways, I'm gonna go fishing. This is a section of water I've never fished before. We'll see. It'll be a complete guessing game. We are off. Got the fishing pool set up. Said goodbye to Nick. Got a backpack. Got this camera on a tripod. I probably look a little bit crazy because it's a little bit obnoxious, but that's what you gotta do. I'm going to fill up on some water. And actually, I think, come to think of it, I should have brought a lot more of these. But I'm gonna use my little Sawyer filter, fill this thing up with water, and chug it. So I am parched. I haven't had any water all day. Just coffee, which kind of counts as water. Got it. Ooh. 
Nieuw. <laughs> that is some cold water. That stream's a little bit small. I think the water gets a little bit wider over here. So I'm gonna keep going. My footprint and a new deer footprint. Lost the whole rig. So I'm gonna go in and get it because I know it's there. And I know that there are fish here, most likely, but realistically, I can't get my fly in there just because there's too much overbrush. So I'm gonna climb in and get my damn fly. <laughs> the thing it must have really came off because it wasn't there <sighs> okay two things one I think I just had a hit and this is the first stretch of water that I've really liked. So I'm gonna take my time here. I'm going to switch out to a bigger dry fly, something that can hold the weight because the water is just like, yeah, pulling it down too fast. Second, I saw a snake. Look at this. I think I found a dead snake. Oh, I love it. Might still be alive, but I think it's dead. Is he alive? Ooh, I think he is. Oh yeah, he's alive. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't come back my way. Beaky. So here's the plan. This guy's coming off. Too small. I'm keeping this nymph because I do think something just hit it. So I'm gonna keep that. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna put on. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna put on this big hopper because I think that it'll be able to carry the weight of the nymph better. Plus, this seems to be longer. Probably. Believe it or not, that was like an hour's worth of fishing and I had one hit and that was it. I totally take what Nick does for granted. Like we've been doing this together for so long and at the beginning I did a lot of solo stuff but it's been a while especially because we're living out of a trailer together and we literally do everything together. But like I forgot how difficult this is. The reason why it's taken me an hour is because I have to keep like setting up the camera and I'm not complaining, I'm just saying like, what Nick does is hard and I, I very much appreciate what Nick does because 
I wouldn't be able to do what I do without them. It's crazy. <laughs> How cool is that elk? He unfortunately ran behind a tree and before we could get photos of him. So all you saw was that shaky footage, but he was beautiful and so cool. We were using a Swarovski spotting scope that had a lens attachment for this camera. They make lens attachments for all different brands of cameras. Um, so we're shooting a Canon, but whether you had a Nikon, Sony, whatever, they sell attachments for it. Holy crap, that thing is amazing. And it comes with a hefty price tag, but if you have the money to spend on Swarovski glass, it is fantastic. I have never seen a spotting scope or a pair of binoculars that are better than that. It's mind blowing. Or like if you're looking for a super special gift for a loved one who does a lot of hunting. Ooh. Ooh. You sprayed that like inside. They fall right off and die like immediately. Cool. Well, Anyways, if you have like a loved one that could use a pair of binoculars, Nick is just like blowing up my spot right now. Let me finish what I'm saying then I'll show you what he's doing. Basically, all I'm trying to say is the binoculars are great. Anyways, uh, the bugs are having one tonight. So Nick and I both lathered ourselves up with some of this stuff. This is by Sawyer. Sawyer makes insect repellent, some first aid stuff, some water filtration, which I'm so excited to use this hunting season especially. And, oh, what else does Sawyer make? Sunscreen. Oh, and sunscreen, yes. Yeah, sunscreen, first aid, insect repellent, and water filtration. Anyway, so we lathered that all over our bodies. And then, can I show them this? Thanks. This is what you heard Nick spraying in the background. This is a treatment for clothing and gear. And they are like trying to penetrate the camper right now. <laughs> so Nick was just like spraying this like all over the screen door, which I'm a little bit concerned about because you're supposed to like air this out a bit or you know, like leave it for, I can tell you exactly how long. Shake well before use. Should not be applied to clothing while it's being worn. So anyways, I was a little concerned that he was like spraying that in areas that we're gonna be, but really it's not a big deal. Like these insects, insects, these mosquitoes are no joke, but this soya stuff is doing its job. Sorry, I was just talking about two brands right in a row, but they're both so good. Will you open up that some of those little windows so I can hit the screens? Yeah. They're actually going. Wow. <laughs> No, they're not on it. I'm scared to touch it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, holy crap, let me see that again. Premium insect repellent. This stuff works so well. Effective for six weeks. Wow. Ticks too. Damn. Highly recommend.